Hello friends, welcome back to Zero Math. In today's video, we are going to solve the previous question from SSC CHSL. This is a very interesting question on the number systems. And through this question, I'm going to explain you one concept that will be useful for you uh, during any competitive exam. Before we get into the problem, let's understand some important concept. Let's take one number randomly 7384555. If we have to check whether this number is divisible by 5, what we will check whether the unit digit is divisible by 5. So in this case, unit digit we are having 5 which is divisible by 5 which means this entire number is divisible by 5. What if we have to check the divisibility by number 25 that is 5 to the power 2 you will check last two digit so here what we have at last two digit 55 55 is not divisible by 25 which means this entire number is not divisible by 25 similar concept we are going to use to solve our question where we have to check whether the number is divisible by 125 so 125 is 5 to the power 3 Hence, we will check last three digits. If last three digits of the number, if those are divisible by 125, that means this entire number is divisible by 125. The same rule is applicable to check the divisibility by number 2, 4 and 8. Let's take one random number 4, 8, 5 and 4. Uh, if you have to check whether this number is divisible by 2, you have to check if the unit digit is divisible by 2. If you have to check whether the number is divisible by 4, that is 2 to the power 2, you will check last two digit whether those are divisible by 4. So 54, whether it is divisible by 4, that's what you have to check. Here 54 is not divisible by 4, which means this entire number is not divisible by 4. Now to check the divisibility by 8 that is 2 to the power 3 you will check last 3 digit that is 8 54 whether it is divisible by 8. If 8 54 is completely divisible by 8 which means the entire number is divisible by 8 and if it is not then the number is not divisible by 8. You don't need to check uh, or you don't need to perform entire division. I hope you are through with the concept. Uh, if not, if you have any doubt, you can post your question into the comment section. Let's try solving the sum you can see on the screen. The 6 digit number 537XY5 is divisible by 125. How many such 6 digit numbers are there? We will write down the number given in this sum. 537XY5. Now we want to check whether this number is divisible by 125. As per the concept we learn, we will check last three digit whether those are divisible by 125. Rest of the three digits that is 5, 37 are irrelevant in our case. So we will simply ignore them. Now we will check the divisibility of last three digit by number 125. For that we will start writing number of 125. 125 times 1 is 125. 125 times 2 is 250, 125 times 3 is 375, 125 times 4 is 500, 125 times 5 is equal to 625, 125 times 6 is equal to 625 plus 125 that is 750, 125 times 7 is 714 and 7 is 35. So if you sum it up, it will be 875. 125 times 8 will be 800 plus 200, that is 1000, or you can do it this way. 8 ones are 8, 8 to the 16, and 8 fives are 40. So if you sum it up, 0, 0, and 8 plus 1, 9 plus 1, 10,000. So 125 times 9 would be 1125. Since we have noted down the table of 125, solving this sum is now pretty easy. To solve this sum, we have to concentrate on the last three digit, which are x, y, 5, here you can see that last digit 5 is fixed and a value of x and y can be any number. Since our unit digit number is fixed to 5, the number cannot be 250 because it ends with 0. 
Similarly, we should not consider other numbers from table of 125 which ends with 0 that is 500, 750 and 1000. Then what are the numbers which are fulfilling our criteria that is ending with 5. So, 1, 2, 5 you can see if the number ends with 1, 2, 5 which means it is completely divisible by 125. Likewise, number ending with 375 also divisible by 125. What about 625 if the number ends with 625 which means it, it can be divisible by 125. So, 125 times 5 is 625. Hence, the entire number will be divisible by 625. Similarly, 875 is also divisible by 125. Now, what about number 1125? Uh, you can see here we are looking for 3 digit number and 1125 is a 4 digit number. Hence, this is not a valid number fulfilling our criteria of 3 digit numbers. Now, let us count the valid numbers which end with 5 and divisible by 125. So, those numbers are 1, 125, 2, 375, 3, 625 and fourth is 875. Hence, our answer would be 4, option A. I hope you have enjoyed this video, liked our work. Please hit big like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel. Here is homework for you. There is a number 486XY and 0. Now, the question is same. You have to find out how many such 6 digit numbers are there which are divisible by 125. Quickly pick up your pen, solve the question and comment your answer.